Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we're bringing you the ultimate car solution for a Samsung tablet and phone. Now, a lot of modern day cars have a nice screen like this, where basically you have all your Android Auto, all your navigation, everything built in here. What if you have an older car that doesn't have that? Well, that is this solution that I'm bringing you here today. So first two things that you'll see here is one, an iAudi tablet mount, which is really cool. It allows me to lower this so that I can actually be able to use it closer to me, very simple and very easily. Now, the other thing that this also allows for is to be able to actually have a couple of things on here. Android Auto for one. Now Android Auto by default, by default does not work on this tablet. This is a Tab S by the way, the original Tab S. Uh, it also has 4G LTE capability, although I don't have it on yet. However, with Android Auto, I can actually have the smart interface basically allowing me to use navigation, to use phone calls, to using Google Play Music, everything, and all comes right in here. Plus, I have Google Assistant, so I can say, OK, Google, and it will go off and start doing everything I need by voice. So that's a really nice feature to have. So all this is built in. However, with Samsung smartphones, you can also add another layer to this. So this solves for any Android phone if you just want to have navigation and Google Play Music or even something like split screen. So on here, I could actually do split screen and say have the ability to have Google Maps and YouTube at the same time. So I can actually have both at the same time very easily. And that's a great feature because I can have split screen with having uh, YouTube, watching a podcast as I go along my day, and having navigation on a smaller screen right away. So it's really great and easy just to be able to have these two screens on at the same time. However, the great part is, is if you have Samsung, you can actually do something additional to this, which is called side sync. So let's go over that. All right, guys, so with this, I'm gonna show you the full demonstration with Android Auto and Samsung SideSync. Now, the really cool thing is, is my phone can just be right down here, not even using it, but everything is on my screen. So first of all, we have Android Auto pulled up with Google Play Music, right? So we're gonna have this music playing. The other cool thing, though, is I'm gonna pull up navigation. Again, all in Android Auto, as you can see the very simple layout that it has right here. With that, I also have Samsung Side Sync, which is a little circle right here in the corner. And the cool thing about that is, is that with this, I actually can control my entire phone. The full phone appears on the screen. And you can do more stuff with it, but the really cool thing about this is, is that you can actually navigate the entire phone on here. So I can pull up my dialer, I can swipe over and you know do answer text messages, whatever you wanna do. You have full autonomy over your phone on here, which is a really cool feature, of course, because you have everything you need on here. But even if I minimize it and someone calls me, the really cool thing is, is I will still get all of that. So even minimize right now, it's gonna appear on my tablet, someone's calling me, I can either answer or reject it, so I'm gonna reject it. And the really cool thing about that is, is I was able to do that all with just answering it right then and there. So really simple, really easy. And again, I love this ability that you have all control over it, just with Android Auto on here, Samsung Side Sync, everything is set up. So the really cool part about this is you have a complete solution now. Even if you don't want to use Samsung Side Sync, which I think is the best way, you still have like a 4G LTE tablet or Wi-Fi in your car and you have a full setup to basically update your vehicle. And that's really cool. I love this ability to do this. Again, this is a Tab S and iAudi. Everything will be in the link in the description down below. However, I will say something that kind of sucks and just want to let you guys know up front. Unfortunately, Samsung Side Sync does not work with the Galaxy S9. I know, I know, a lot of you guys might be upset by that. Air your grievances to Samsung. As of now, I could not get it to work. So that's just one thing uh, that is not available at this time. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this setup. Are you intrigued by it? Is this something you would set up in your car? Again, you can lower it, you can figure it, how, configure it however you want for your own car but I think it's a really cool way of updating it. And of course you can always take your tablet out and 
not want to leave it there so it gets stolen, at least in certain neighborhoods. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.